personal experience not necessary. Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live. We talk about business concepts here. We talk about principles, strategies, and tactics that you can use. And one of the most hotly debated topics that I hear over and over again, especially in the expert arena, is the concept of people teaching what they have not gone through. And I have a very interesting perspective on this, I think. And it comes back, I'm gonna give you a great example. This is a, this is a book by my friend Richard Emmons. It's called 52 Things to Do in Southern Oregon. Okay, Richard's a marketing expert. He, uh, there's a reason why he put this book out. It's an interesting thing. So I live in Southern Oregon, so does uh, Richard. And it, he mentions why he came out with this book on this podcast, on this uh, very specific interview that I did with him uh, at Grants Pass VIP, my uh, local-based podcast. I'm going to have the link in the description, so go check that out to be able to listen to why he put this together. But this is a very simple book. It's a, it's a very interesting book, um, and it's nothing more than a list and descriptions of things that you can do in Southern Oregon and just kind of the top ones and it's got links to special sites and uh, you know it doesn't have a whole lot of pictures or anything else it's just it is what it says it is it's 52 things to do in Southern Oregon and so if a person were visiting here or moving here it's a great thing to be able to pick up and I like having it because I I flip through it and there's a whole bunch in here that I that that me and my family have never done. We're always finding new things. So anytime we get something like this, plus he sent me a free copy because I advertise in his newspaper. So <laughs> this is a great, a really great deal. Um, but I, I'll, I'll tell you the interesting thing about this, why I'm bringing this up. He wrote this book without having gone to all 52 places, without doing all 52 things. All right, does that make him a liar? Does that make him misrepresenting what he's promoting? Or does it, or would it only be that case if he said, I've been to all these places and done all these things. That's why you should go there. I personally recommend all these places. He's not saying that. He's not saying that in this book. He doesn't say that in person. If he did, then he'd be a liar. He'd be misrepresenting. So there's a lot of experts out there that give off the air that they've done everything that they are advising other people to do. And that's wrong. It's, it's wrong to mislead in that, in that way. But if they're not misleading, I can, I can make recommendations to a millionaire, a person that has millions of dollars coming through their business. I can make recommendations to them even though I don't necessarily own a business in the same field making millions of dollars, right? It, does that make my advice less useful? It Does it make it wrong? It only makes it wrong if I say, you should do this because I've done it and this is what you'll get. It, I can't say that. And so that this is the thin line, I think, where things are have been drawn but people make a really big deal about, well, you should never advise someone to do something that you haven't done yourself. Well, that's absurd. No, nothing would ever get done anywhere if that were the case. I've had advice from many people to do many things. I don't care whether they've done it or not. I care whether the advice is solid or not. I care about whether that person has a perspective similar to mine, has a perspective over the situation, is emotionally distant enough from it that can they can give me a better better advice than I can give myself because I'm too far in it. Uh, those are the type of things that I'm looking for in the long run. And I don't care whether Richard's ever done all these things. I don't care if he's done a single one. If he has heard about them, if he has advice from other people, if he's gone and done the research and found this stuff online, that's all I care about. I'm happy to have the book. Uh, and if you don't want the book, you don't go out and get the book. And if you don't want someone's advice, you ought to be able to test them out ahead of time to see whether they're trustworthy, to see whether they're a good fit for you. Uh, and there's no reason why you can't take advice from somebody that hasn't done the exact thing that they're giving advice about. 
Here's another great example. Uh, anyone that's, uh, that's familiar with professional sports knows that, I, and I think that's, this is the case among a whole lot of the sports that I'm familiar with, some of the greatest coaches of all time were not professional athletes themselves. Uh, I, I mean, you can have a person in a wheelchair and who can who can be an, an amazing coach in football. Some of the best coaches in football were not professional football players. Well, th think about before there was professional football, the first coaches, none of them had done professional football because it hadn't existed up to that time. That's irrelevant, <laughs> okay? It's absolutely irrelevant. Uh, some of the best, greatest generals weren't necessarily in the field doing the exact same thing that they're commanding their officers to do and their and their um, the people on the ground, the soldiers that they they weren't necessarily doing all those jobs, but they have a different perspective and they can pass along information that that person doesn't have and be able to lead them with strategy, be able to lead them with the principles that work in any situation as long as it as long as it's applicable of course so hopefully that makes sense that that's i really believe that the experience is not absolutely necessary it isn't the key thing the key thing is the character of the person uh, the ability of the person to be able to communicate the idea clearly and be able to offer another option to you, whoever that person is, whether you're talking to an advisor, a mentor, a partner in an organization. When I go in to partner up with businesses, I'm looking for, I'm not looking for a top down. I'm not looking to tell them what to do and they do it. I'm looking for a back and forth, be able to look straight in the eye see me as a human being that has a perspective and I see them as the same. Okay, that's what I'm going for and hopefully you're looking for that too. Uh, if you wanna find out more about some of these concepts, especially in the long-term strategy field, how do you build out long-term strategy that's actually gonna take you somewhere? I wrote a book about it, Nine Ways to Amazon Proof Your Business. I didn't do everything that's presented in this book. I'm in the process of doing most of it, but I have not succeeded in every last piece, but I point to examples of people that have succeeded. And all it takes is you stepping back and looking and acknowledging that what I see as being true is also something that you could see as being true. So you can get a copy of this book if you go to amazonproofbook.com, amazonproofbook.com, type the entire thing in to your browser amazonproofbook.com with no spaces okay if you try and uh, type it in with spaces you're not going to get where you want to go which is an interesting thing that i'm going to bring up tomorrow <laughs> it's an interesting piece of search engine optimization that uh failed me on this particular url but i'm going to show you how we're going to get around it we're going to talk about that tomorrow that's all i got for tonight in the meantime get out there and let the magic happen